Okay. I'm gonna try it again. Steve Ray Vaughan, Pride and Joy, for Quit 293. But don't quit yet, because the music's just getting started. Yeah. Tuna half step down. Tuna. Do you know what tuna is? It's a type of fish. Alright. <laughs> Okay, man, let's jump in. A few little flow ups. I mixed the studio with the live, but uh, let's do it. You got a two and a half step flat, like I said. Tuna is a fish. It's also a way of tuning your guitar. So, here's what you want to do third fret on the B string. You're going to hit string two and one, and, and you know, you got to have some reverb too, guys. Turn the reverb up. <coughs> I have it on my clean channel, but I upped the gain, so it has a little bit of that dirt, that Texas dirt. You're gonna slide up to the fifth fret. In process, don't accidentally mute out that open high E string, okay? So we have. Once you get there. Up, down, up, down, up. So. Then 7E, 8B, and you go. You're gonna kinda like quarter step bend it as you're hitting and go up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you uh, go back to the third fret B, pick the B and E, slide to the fifth fret again. Okay, so it's like the first one you did. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Second fret G, do a whole step bend. Once it's there, pick it and then release it. So open G and then two D. So and then such a killer groove here. Let me show you the groove in there. Open E, and then open low E, and then hit the E and B open. It's this kind of pulse beat that's going. Then go 3 E, 4 E. Then go to 2 A. And then upstroke the open E and B again. So we have. Then go to the fourth fret A, and do the open E and B with an upstroke again. 2nd fret D, open E and B again. So you get this open B following almost all the notes. Then 3 to 4 on the E again. And then 2 A. So, do a bass melody. You know what I mean? Open E and B and then... Bar the second fret D through E or G through E, and then upstroke all those strings or the last three strings, G, B, and E, and hammer onto the first fret on the G string. It's hammering on to make it a, a ma E major chord. So it's so. Then go open E and B again, and then start it from the third and fourth fret E. Four A, and then the open E and B, and then we change. It's the same thing. 
but I'm dropping it down to the A string. Just one time through. Then back to this again. And then from the 3, 4 on the E again. Oops. Or, to the 2A and then the open E and B, then it changes. Because I want to show you all the little fillers that are going on here. Two G, slide to four, leave it ringing, and then you're gonna pick the third fret on the B string. So we have, do that twice. And then do it again, but start on the third fret G string. So you're gonna do a half step slide. So, then pick the fourth fret G, slide to two, pull off to an open. So, and then two D. So this part is open one, two on the A. Same thing on the D string, open one, two. So then go open A, two A, one A. So alternate pick. So that's the next riff you're gonna learn is this. Open A, hammer, pull, first fret, and then third fret E. So, oops. Open A, third fret E, after that, and then second fret D, and then open E. So. Two G slide to to four. Well, actually, you're gonna put your first finger on one B as well. Slide that a whole step up to four and three on the G and B. Okay. Once you get there, go. pick two times and then go one two three one two three. So I gotta play it in context. Pick the two, slide them, pick twice, then pick three times after. So it's really five times being picked on that G and B string, fret four and three. So Four slide to two on the G string and pull off to an open. That sounds like this. And then two D. And open E. Did something like that earlier, right? Hit the open E again, and then open one, two on the A. So, and the rest is he's just going. You'll hit uh, open E and B. If you hit the G once in a while, don't sweat it. It wasn't like Stevie was like being super cautious not to hit it. It's the feel of this that you want. Do upstrokes and then rest these fingers softly on the strings in between it so so seven times and then 2g bend release pull off to an open and then 2d so and then again eight times on that one. And then the next part is A7. You wanna bar the second fret, strings four through one, and go to the third fret high E. And then do upstrokes, strings one through four. So, three times, and then hit the open A. And then hit strings three, two, and one, and, and go two times, but like quarter step bend them as you go. So 
if you want to take the fingers off a little and go like, because you would be going, or it would be three times. If it's easier to bend the bend it instead of doing the four strings, because he's emphasizing on the E and B, then you can and then open A and then repeat the bends, and then you're back to the first one. And then live, the version I saw, he went to this B7. In studio, you can hear him do like a... That type of thing. But we're going to do the, the way the live concert that I saw, which, which is just a straight up B7. 2A, 1D, 2G, and 2E. It's a standard B7. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then the A7 that you just learned, do the same beat and everything. And with your thumb, if you can, mute that low E. Okay, and we'll stop there because I've got to go do a Skype lesson. Oops. But anyways, if you have questions, let me know. Stevie Ray, I remember back in the day, back in the... Uh, Late 90s, I was teaching out of this music store, and uh, the other guitar teacher, who's a good player, man, I got along with him good, we both were going through the Stevie Ray Vaughan phase, and we were like, man, we should start a band, you know, we were both playing Stevie Ray Vaughan type stuff, how cool would it be to have two, not that we were comparing ourselves to Stevie Ray, because not a chance, man, but we both could kind of play that Stevie Ray style. He was a little more jazzy, I was a little more bluesy, but um, we never did it. But I love Stevie Ray Vaughan, one of my favorite blues guitar players, period. Always will be. I loved his style. Him and Hendrix, so. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Subscribe to both my channels. YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 1 and Rocking Guitar Lessons 2. They're both uh, learning the instrument, getting better. They're interactive. Um, so subscribe, make requests. Uh, get involved, man. Jump on board. I appreciate you guys. If you want to uh, take lessons on Skype, Send me a request, Rockin' Guitar Lessons, that's my Skype contact, and uh, it's $50 an hour or $25 for a half an hour. We can work on the things you want to work on to get your playing to the next level. My web website is rockinguitarlessons.com. Be watching for that. And uh, my PayPal email is tvxpunk at aol.com if you would like to donate to this channel. And if not, don't sweat it. Still love you. Keep coming. Spread the word. Take the vids. Put them on your Facebook wall. Talk to you later, man. I really do got to go. Thank <laughs> you.